Chris Dallas Green. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. President. I tell you, we're, we're thrilled here in Philadelphia. It, uh, we waited an awful long time for this moment, and, and uh, a lot of people said this baseball team couldn't do it, but I think we proved otherwise. I think we proved we're the best in 1980 in America. were on top. But by Sunday evening, the Philadelphia Playoff Express had been derailed, and the 1980 Phillies were being haunted by ghosts of September's past. Were Philly fans about to be disappointed? A 1-1 pitch, swing and a ground ball, base hit, Phillies win it 6-5, trio delivers with a... A stirring 15-inning win led to a four-game sweep of the Cubs, and by week's end, the Phillies needed just one more win to clinch the National League Eastern Division title. The pitch to Schmidt. Long drive to left field, he buried it, he buried it, way back. National League Eastern Division Champion. was in a jam, his defense bailed him out. The scoreless tie took its toll as Houston lost Cesar Cedeno. But in the 10th inning, Philadelphia lost the game. The Phillies were just one game from extinction. In the decisive fifth game, Philadelphia once again received last rights. But versatile Greg Gross laid down a perfect eighth inning bunt to load the bases. Time now for the series MVP to nail down the award. Line drive left field, stay hit! Here comes Avalos to score! That ball's in the corner! Here comes Hunter for the plate! He's gonna score! He goes into third, Manny Creel to third with a two-run triple! Phillies lead the game 7-5! to five. When Houston had the audacity to tie the score, Gary Maddox's big clutch hit nailed down the win. The 
two pitch. Here is a punch shot to center field. Maddox racing over. Yeah, he catches the ball. The Phillies win the pass. The Phillies have won the pass. The Phillies win the ball game eight to seven. They go to the World Series for the first time in 30 years. appeared invincible, the scene shifted to Kansas City, where the Royals even the series. In the all-important fifth game, Kansas City took a one-run lead into the ninth and sent out their bullpen ace to protect it. The Philly sent out pinch hitter extraordinaire, Del Unser. Here's the pitch to Unser. Swing and a smash past Akins and down the right field line. Mike Schmidt is heading for third base, being waved around third. Here is the relay throw to play, and Schmidt is safe at home plate. Unser eventually scored the game-winning run, and the Phillies returned home just one win away from their first ever world championship. But by now, it was a bygone conclusion. Seven years of waiting, Philly fans were one pitch away from celebrating a world title. The celebration poured out into the city as more than a million people lined the streets to pay tribute to their conquering heroes. For a packed house in JFK Stadium, Mike Schmidt gave the final blessing. What is going on YouTube? It's Ray from Philly here on this October 21st. No, it's not October 21st, 1980. Unfortunately, it's October 21st, 2019. But today is the 39th anniversary of uh, the Philadelphia Phillies, these guys right behind me, winning their first uh, World Series championship. It was a great day for me. I was 13 years old. I remember watching that entire season, the playoffs, National League Championship Series was to this day the best ever between the Phillies and the Astros. And then going on to the World Series and beating the Kansas City Royals, just a phenomenal season, phenomenal year, led by Pete Rose, Steve Carlton, Bob Boone, Greg Luzinski, and most valuable player, Mike Schmidt. So I had this project behind me over here. I'm going to show you guys. It's the 1980 Phillies World Series poster. Uh, with 34 members on there, and I do have uh, 33 of the 34 signed. The only one I don't have is Nino Espinosa, who passed away a couple years after 1980. So it was just an extraordinary great year. I'll never forget it. Uh, 13 years old, you're a young kid, and you're watching your favorite team, and they're winning their first ever World Series. Just an awesome year. Uh, so. This project took me about five years to uh, complete. Um, I'm going to flip the phone around and give you guys a closer look at this. And it was October 21st, 1980. And uh, never forget it. And the next day was the parade, and I was at the parade too. So hold on. I'll flip the phone around and, and show you guys this awesome piece of uh, memorabilia in Philly's history. Okay, and here we are. I'll give you a close-up. Phillies 1980 World Champions. That right there is signed by the Philly Fanatic. Pretty cool. 
Ramon Velas, Greg Luzinski, Bob Walk. Tug McGraw doesn't have it signed here, but I did get an autographed baseball card signed by Tug. And backup catcher, Keith Moreland. Bob Boone, Ron Reed, Lonnie Smith, Marty Bystrom, Dickie Knowles. Coaches Herm Sturett, Bobby Wine, and Mike Ryan. Head coach Dallas Green. Let's go back up here. Gary Maddox, George Vukovic, Greg Gross. Best fielding second baseman I ever saw in my life, Manny Trio. Greatest left-hander I ever saw in my life, Steve Carlton. Larry Christensen. The man that we wouldn't have won the World Series without, Pete Rose. Larry Boa. Dick Ruthven. Pinch hitter extraordinaire, Del Unser, Randy Lurch, Kevin Soche, Shake and Bake McBride, Warren Brewster, Billy DeMars, Ruben Amaro, Lee Ilya, finally, Michael Jack Schmidt. And I had coach John Vukovic on an autograph card because both McGraw and Vukovic passed away. So I, I couldn't get them to sign it, so I got autographed cards. Had a plaque put on here. I, Philadelphia Phillies, 1980 World Series champions. All right, guys, I appreciate all your likes and comments. October 21st, 1980, Phillies win the World Series. All right, guys, stay tuned for more great stuff. I'll talk to you soon. Have fun. Make sure you love the hobby. Take care.